So Dr. Phil is showing an episode on race. Look, Dr. Phil. Stereotypes, and we're now. going to try and myth bust uh, one of each today. Now, first, Paul Mooney is going to read the top ten stereotypes of African Americans. So, go through the list, and then we'll pick one to talk about. Number one, uneducated. The ghetto speaks ebonics. Number two, lazy on welfare. Out of wedlock children. Number three, angry. The men are criminals, thugs. Women are whores. Men have large penis. Women have big butts. Love to eat watermelon and chicken. Can sing, dance, and good at sports. And believe all white people are racist, except for you, Dr. Phil. Of course. <laughs> all, right. all right, now, one of the biggest myths. We're talking about race one of the now. One biggest myths is that most men in the African American community are criminals. Okay, so is it true or false? Of course it's false. According to the Justice Department report, about 10.4% of the entire African American male population in the United States between 25 and 29 is incarcerated. But while those numbers are troubling, the percentage is definitely not the majority of black males. That means 89.6%. Nine out of ten are not involved in jail or crime or anything else. So, I mean, that's the jump Dr. that people Phil take. on race. Michael Graham is going to read the top ten list of white stereotypes. So let's hear this one. Ready? Number one, they're racist. Number two, they're racist. Number three, Paul, did you give me, the, give me my list back? <laughs> Number two, they're serial killers. Number three, they smell like wet dogs. Number four, they can't dance. Have you not seen Tom DeLay on TV? <laughs> Number five, they're redneck hillbillies who live in trailers. Oh, I'm sorry, that's, that's just my family. Number, Number six, all women have flat butts. Number seven, get angry when other races take their jobs. Number eight, awkward social behavior, uncool. Number nine, untrustworthy backstabbers. And number 10, drink beer, which is not a stereotype, that's a feature, actually. <laughs> Can I trade you two of these for the penis? That's one? not correct. Can you get the penis one over here? I like the I, And see, this new, one about, this new one about white guys smelling like wet dogs, That's I haven't heard that stereotype. That's oh, not yeah. a new stereotype. Oh, yeah. Help a Caucasian brother That's now. a little. Yeah, that's, that's, not, not, like that's not a Please. new right, stereotype. Right. The last myth uh, is what we're focusing on today and trying to move in the right direction. It is false that all white people are racist. I mean, clearly. Um, Y'all don't believe that, do you? I mean, does anybody believe that all white people are racist? Not I mean, all that, white people it, it are racist. It's a stereotype. I mean, there are poll after poll that says otherwise, so I don't need to go into the details. Next, one of our audience members, Howard, but Says remember, Caucasian this is the media. Go near him. We're going to hear why he thinks that is when we come back. When I'm walking on the sidewalk, they'll walk off the sidewalk while I'm walking on it and then get back on the sidewalk after I pass. If you stand up, you're pretty good size. Yes. And I notice people cross the street when they see me coming sometimes. <laughs> oh, there's Dr. Phil. We don't need to. <laughs> I'm a buyer for TJ Maxx. I'm a shopper at heart. So listen, We're listen, 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 listen. After that, listen. Straight to our I get the best I'm sitting in the dark the today. Because it's only dark for you, know what I mean? I do not watch Dr. Phil, but Dr. Phil came on today and they were talking about race all loud and shit, so I just had to turn around and look. Um, the studio's coming along good. You will have a video tomorrow about the progress of what's going on in the studio. Um, when it comes to race, stereotypes about race are pitiful. Now, some of the stereotypes about white people they didn't even mention. 
the top 10 stereotypes about white people they didn't mention. Um, now, there's this one stereotype about the white people being the devil that's gone through several different uh, groups of uh, racial people or what have you, uh, different races accused white people of being devil and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Regardless of what life uh, will ever come out to be for everybody here on this little planet Earth, we have to come to one conclusion. Is it truly the real AIX talking when you can't see his face? Am I some plant? Am I fake? An actor? What am I? Yet and still, I tell you, I will not talk about race, but when I find a reason to talk about race, I talk about it. Do I talk about it because it bothers me? Am I upset because I am the race that I am? No. A blindness has captured America and all the people that inhabit it. This blindness needs to be erased. I can go on throughout life believing a group of people hates me for reasons beyond my power and beyond their power because I know what the truth is. But let Dr. Phil tell it. Let somebody white tell you. My values, my it ain't my job. And the way I was brought up in America, it's very disheartening. I've been in the country music business for over 20 years. The first group that I joined, they were Caucasian group. I had to wear, mandatory, a blonde wig. And one of the places that we went in the South, we were loading up, and I forgot to put the wig on. The person who was in charge of this private club, he stormed in and pointed his finger at me, and he said, She's wrong color. Well, it's a touchy topic today. We're talking about racial bias. I'm not just talking about this overt bias where somebody clearly will do what you just saw I talked about on the tape. Because we can have... I'm only 40 years old. 41 years old. Why well, either give myself your take one away. And I have experienced racism too many times. But each time I've experienced racism, I've understand there's one thing. It was for nothing. Nothing was accomplished. They didn't win anything. You can belittle somebody for a thousand years and not break a person's spirit. But those who tell you to belittle somebody for your own gain only have belittled you in the process. That's what plagues me about race. Because I can sit here and I can listen to these people talk about all these fucking stories. And every one of these fucking stories, I've fucking seen it. When I'm walking on the sidewalk, they'll walk off the sidewalk. Yes, I've walked past white people and they've locked their car doors. They've clenched their children. They've clenched their purses. They've called me names. They've spit at me, and they tell me I need to be thankful for what the white man has done for me. I'm ashamed of what the white man has done to the white man, especially for him to believe that I have to be holding to him or the deeds of his forefathers. Please, those white people I remotely give a damn about live in this day and age and not in the past let's watch dr phil for the last 30 seconds before i end up we'll shuffle a chair here can we can we trade with you and and, and i'll tell you why i'm going to do this what's your name okay your name is sherry we don't have a mic on you because we didn't have you pre-planned let's put you in the middle over here all right now uh, I'm going to give you guys an assignment. I, I want you two to talk like at the commercial break and that sort of thing. 